Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel, hope you're all doing well and here's something we haven't said for a while, welcome to another Heresy Thursday video. Yes, Heresy Thursday is back. Now, way back in April I did a video when the Librarian console came out and it was going to be the last Heresy Thursday for a while and during that video I actually said they were pausing Heresy Thursday because I believe that Epic was coming back for Horus Heresy and I said in that video that Heresy Thursday would be back once they'd revealed Epic and it was out there in the wild and sure enough I was correct we've now had Legions Imperialis revealed we know that Epic is coming back and now we've got another Heresy Thursday article and we're getting brand new plastic Direwolf Scout Titans so if you remember back last year I think it was in January we got a Forge World resin version of the Direwolf Scout Titan you can see a picture of it on the screen now but now we're getting a box of two plastic Scout Titans so again they've got those Ardex uh, Mega Bolters on the arms but this is two Titans rather than one in plastic we've got the new bases there which we'll talk about in a moment and of course up top they've got that larger carapace mounted weapon as well so there's three weapons in the kit now We've got the Volcano Cannon, we've got the Neutron Laser, and there's also a brand new weapon as well, the Conversion Beam Dissipator. So you can see the weapons on the screen there. Top one is your Volcano Cannon, and we've got the Conversion Beam uh, Dissipator in the middle, and then we've got the Neutron Laser at the bottom as well. Now, if we go back to looking at the Titan, it's on one of the new bases that we've seen for Legions Imperialis. And if we zoom in on that base, you can see the detail there. It's kind of like uh, paneling on the base. It's that lower profile base. And actually, we've seen this base before. When they revealed uh, another Warhound weapon, another conversion beam weapon, they actually showed off one of these low profile bases. Not much got said about it at the time, but there you go, we've actually seen a preview of this base. Now, moving on from the Titans, the other day I did a big reveal video about Legions Imperialis, and since I've done that video, they've actually put an article up on the Warhammer Community website showing off the scale of the new epic scale Space Marines against one of the Horus Heresy Age of Darkness Marines. So you can see that on the screen there. It's roughly one quarter scale compared to one of the standard Marines. Now, we've not got any information on the base sizes yet, but I think the infantry are on what looks like 28 millimeters, or it could be 25 millimeters. Again, you can see a picture there. And they've also done some scale pictures for the Contempt of Dreadnought. They've done one for the Sakaran Battle Tank. There's one for the Lehman Rust Battle Tank as well. So you can see the comparison there between a full scale one and the smaller one. And again, for the Malkador Heavy Battle Tank as well. So there we go. We've had a little bit more information on Legions Imperialis through these new Titans. Now the rules for the weapons are going to be in the Legions Imperialis book and the rules for the Titan as well. And they've also said that the rules for the brand new conversion beam dissipator are going to be included for both Adeptus Titanicus and for Legions Imperialis. Now that I think is good news because it means that Titanicus, at least for now, is here to stay. What I think is going to happen is going forward, all the Titans are going to be reboxed with that epic scale logo in the corner. And I also think they're going to rebase everything for Titanicus with that new lower profile base that we've seen for Legions Imperialis. And of course that we saw on the Warhound Titan that had the uh, conversion beamer reveal a while ago. So I think that's what's going to happen. Everything's going to get rebased and across the theme of Legions Imperialis and Adeptus Titanicus, they're all going to have that lower profile base. Maybe that's why the starter set for Adeptus Titanicus is currently out of stock. Perhaps they're uh, rebasing everything because there's a lot of stuff for uh, AT that's out of stock at the moment. But I think that's what's going to happen anyway. But let me know in the comments what do you think about these new uh, Titans. When I saw the resin one from Forge World, I'll be honest, I didn't really like it at all. But these plastic ones, although they're not, not that much different, they look slightly better. I don't know why, maybe it's just the pose. The Forge World one did look a little bit derpy, but these plastic ones do look better. And of course, with the Warhound Titans as well, you know that the studio pictures, the pose isn't great, but they're actually quite dynamic if you adjust the legs and you can make them look like they're bounding forward. Maybe they wouldn't bound so much with these ones, with the big carapace weapons, but again, with it being plastic, much more to work with, so it should be fun, and I can't wait to uh, see what they're like when they're released and have a look at the sprues. But anyway, that's it for now. Just wanted to get this out there. Another Heresy Thursday, long may it continue, so I'll look forward to what we're getting next Thursday. They have said that they're going to be covering Legions Imperialis now as part of Heresy Thursday, as predicted. So we're going to see more information, perhaps more reveals for Epic, as well as Horus Heresy stuff as well, I hope, because that's going to continue going. We had we did see the roadmap at Warhammer Fest, so we do, the, we do know that more stuff's coming for Horus Heresy as well, as well as this mystery army that they've talked about, which should be quite exciting. But that's it, Heresy Thursday is back. If you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a thumbs up, and if you didn't enjoy it, just leave me a comment, let me know why. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe. And all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.